This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. The basketball Cats move up from number five to number four in the Associated Press Top 25 poll this week after a win over Arizona State Saturday. The Sun Devils out-rebounded Kentucky in the first half, 22 to 14, but the final 20 minutes proves that the Wildcats can play physical and dominate around the rim. Kentucky ends up with a combined 31 points from their forwards. A lot of basketball, it is physical. And a lack of physical play then ends up turning into mental toughness then starts to suffer. So here we are, we traveled all over the country. We were in Chicago, we were in Miami, we were in LA, we're on our way to New York. We lost one game without Marcus Lee and, and, and we, we're hanging our heads. That's Kentucky. That's what it is here. Jamal Murray is the Southeastern Conference Freshman of the Week. Murray average is a team best 16 and a half points in the wins over Eastern Kentucky and Arizona State last week. Also grabbed five boards and dished out an average of four assists. He is currently the leading scorer for the Wildcats. So that's on the men's side. How about the women's side? Kentucky's Michaela Epps is the National Player of the Week by ESPNW.com. Epps put together one of her best individual performances against Louisville and Rupp Arena, hitting 10 of 11 shots from the field. and scoring 24 points. She followed that up Sunday against Middle Tennessee, scoring 17 points on 8 of 13 shooting. Epps leads the Cats, averaging 17 points per game and 6 assists. The Kentucky women stay at number 8 this week in the new Associated Press Top 25 poll. UConn and South Carolina are the top two teams in the nation. The Huskies are the unanimous number one. Duke, which is Kentucky's next opponent this Sunday, is ranked 13th. The doubleheader for this week's WIMT Appalachian Wireless Games of the Week. Harlan at Harlan County. It's a mountain top five matchup on the girls' side as the third ranked Lady Dragons take on the fifth ranked Lady Black Bears. The girls tip off at 6, followed by the boys at approximately 7.30. You can watch both of these games on this TV and WIMT.com. You pipe top play contender time. We start with my man, Travis Dunn, shortest guy on the court most nights. Perry Central down one with 12 seconds to go. Austin Hill, no, but look at Dunn. Skies high for the rebound, gets the put back to go. That's the game winner over Logan, West Virginia. Take another look. Travis Dunn. Next contender, Corbin. Andrew Taylor up to Zach McGuett. Teamwork makes the dream work. Nominee number three, South Laurel, North Laurel, Caleb Taylor. That's a Cardinal jam. South Laurel beats the Jags. Contender number four, Nick Hoskins. What you got for me? Oh, yeah, you heard the buzzer. Knocks down the shot at the end of the first quarter. But Hazard beats the Leslie County Eagles. Back to Clay County because I like dunks. Blake Smith. Smith down the floor, another two-handed slam. The top-ranked Tigers beat the Baller Bruins and stay unbeaten. Last contender, Barberville, Markel Turner, stopping and a-popping. He had 27 in the win over Rock Castle County, devoting the UPAC top-play contenders. Just go to WIMT.com, and we'll count down the top five on Thursday. Bengals quarterback Andy Dalton out with a broken thumb. Head coach Marvin Lewis saying today that he will not need surgery, and they will take it week to week. That's sports. We'll be back after this.